get started. Okay, first, let's get organized up in here. <laughs> For this recipe, you need some measuring sorry. cups, something to stir everything up. Yo, what's up? up? And your favorite mixing bowl. You... Next, I'm gonna get my mise en place. Uh, of on. course, that's that. what I tell myself when I'm in the kitchen, feeling gets pantry the volume going. All it means is putting everything in its place so it's ready to go to make this and any other recipe a breeze. Oh man, I'm so excited to share this recipe. It seriously could All not right. get easier. One, that fudgy volume. flavor of homemade brownies yeah. is just oh, so that's irresistible. Sweet. I mean, if that's Damn. not one of the best flavors in the world, Bitch. what is? Am I right? It's not real. How do you like your brownies? Personally, I love a good Come. chewy inside with a nice candy coat on top. I really think brownies are one of Okay, we'll just un connect it and reconnect it. No big deal, right? Can't hear anything. Blah, blah, blah. All right, well, I guess we'll talk for a little bit. It's working there. So if I change it in one screen, it changes it in all. Change that. I like. And for stretch. Good enough. So it's still not coming in. Kind of a bummer. Okay. Hmm. What else could we try? <clears throat> I don't understand why it's not coming in through there. But when I turn on the speakers, it's doing it. Huh. Anyway. All right. We'll f screw it. I'll figure that out another time. We want it to be good if done. We want it to be on but if what else do I want? I want the microphone to be with the microphone, which it is. All right. Well, um, today we are going to be playing. Mass Effect 1, a lovely throwback to Bioware's glory days. Volume down. Um, one of my personal favorite games, and one of the games that got me like hardcore into uh, RPGs. It was uh, right after I started Right after I discovered uh, Fallout, so this one like was like number two, and then sh shortly after, you know, almost right there, was uh, Bioshock, and that we're gonna be getting started soon. I'm gonna try to get back onto a gaming regimen, just where I have a couple of days, um, where I play every week, and then I also get some. Uh, different games in there uh, let's go to just chatting all right so as you can see I also figured out a new camera setup so I got the wide angle pretty damn nice if I do say so myself I uh, really enjoyed uh, picking 
for setting this thing up. Okay, that was loud still. Um, and the best part about it is it was very inexpensive. I used a pre-existing GoPro that I had and a uh, capture card that I found on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Slap those two together along with the computer and bam, there you go. You get a very, very reasonable wide angle, you know, effect so i was very happy about that um but so anyway uh i'm i'm back from vacation and we're going to get this started let's play some mass effect all right uh hopefully every time we get to do a little chatting beforehand if anybody hops in here other than that uh, we're just gonna hopefully make like an hour or two's worth of progress uh, just to dip our toes back into it. Um, <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. God, these glasses are... I never sh can never wear glasses while streaming. Alright, so we're going to go into the, uh, the in-game... Oh, should I... Probably should. I'm going to make sure the profile for this just stays on default. I have a DPI up. Okay. And what is my DPI up in? Uh, put it on. Uh, we'll keep it on the Tomb Raider setup. It's probably going to be better that way. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, this isn't going to competitive anything. It'll be, uh, does it need as much precision? Uh, so let's throw this up. Let's make sure we're the in the in-game mode. It will recognize it in just a moment. Got a little bit bigger, bigger. You know, let's make me, yeah. Leave my part of face. Uh, what else do we need? What are we doing? Uh, we're in game. <laughs> Not sure. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, God. I don't think I have a thing of it. So I was gonna say there's no way I didn't make a th make a thing for it. That scared the living shit out of me. It's still so loud. Why is it so loud?
Okay, note to self, turn down in-game volume. That hurt a lot. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let's do this again. Is it turned down? Probably not. There we go. Part with the note. Thing. It doesn't seem like the game is registering. Did it do it before? God. Can I not get a smooth stream like once ever? I feel like it did it the first time. That just means we need to go to window capture, which is kind of a bummer. Unless it's like in this setting. Input. Why didn't that work? There we go. I thought I put my base canvas as fourteen forty. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, you know, luck. It's all about luck. And this is probably not going to come up now. Or it did. Team 40, Ultra.
Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Cool. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Mm, do I want to be a soldier? Identification confirmed. I've actually never played fully as a soldier before. But this could be uh, quite interesting. I'll stick this up here. Just sit and stay. Good phone. Sit and steady. Combat difficulty. Let's go veteran. Wow, they have hardcore and insanity. Auto level up. Squad only. Target assist. Normal. Fine. Subtitles, yes. Auto save, yes. Accept. All right. It only took us twenty minutes. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2140, explorers uh, on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization in the decades that followed. These mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the first stars. The basis of incredible technology was a force controlled by a very fabricated time and space they called the Great Discovery of the History. The Mass Effect. Not really a speed reader. This game is maxed out at 60 FPS. <laughs> the Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, cool. check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. 
Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. is E tactical HUD is spacebar map is M equipment I squad U and journal J how what okay <laughs> sure <laughs> okay graphics should be on as high as possible Press O to access your access details. Click the secondary tab. Access to tutorial, click the secondary tab, then the plus sign next to the player tutorial. Press W A D S to move forward, back left turn, back left turn. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful.
They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? <laughs> If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Uh, by the secrecy. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If All they right. accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, right. we got a problem. Let's keep going. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. 
Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay, uh... Engaging stealth systems. As soon as I get on the ground, I'm gonna change them real quick. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. I mean, we are approaching drop point two. Graphics for the time. I mean, honestly, I mean, nothing wrong. Saving. Okay. This place got hit hard, man. Hostiles are everywhere. Keep your guard up. Didn't sound right. It sounded like, like oddly muffled. Yeah, that's, that, that was it. Negative contacts, Commander. Even that, it really needs to be on like zero. Yeah, I mean that, that's probably like 500 DPI.
Press the right mouse button. Engage the lobby squad. Okay. Continue. Um, we put one into point six. Physical punishment that can come up with. Increases damage. Okay. Right now we're just worrying about assault rifles. Dialogue will be later. Must have sucked ass. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. State comes one medical. Oh god, I keep not reading it. Pardon we <laughs> using the tactical to issues orders to command just on powers. Oh, this is so different than uh So I just supplied the hardened weave. You equip your sniper rifle to shoot the bag of press and hold the space bar to pause the game and begin the move. I'll switch back to your for pressing and holding the space bar. First aid. Ooh. Perimeter secured. Shh. 
shields are pitiful already. Introduced to Miranda or Ashley. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Take us there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Recovered items, pistols, Trekker 1, the Alanis. Wrist control and armor piercing rounds. Take all. Pressing one opens, or pressing I opens the equipment screen, which allows you to switch and modify weapons and armor. Click okay. No, can you get out? Give the pistol to Ashley. Give you by clicking the pistol icon. More damage, more damage, less shots, less accuracy. Every weapon has at least one weapon and one ammo upgrade slot. Click the bullet icon to access ammo upgrades. Okay, I'm fine with more damage. 11. Double click on ammo upgrade to install it. Should be solid. The beacons at the far end of this trench. Move to the edge of the rock and press left mouse. Press F S to move off of cover. Press left control to crouch. Heads up! 
That mask would pop up and fire. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Pistol and a heat sink. I will also level up. That doesn't do anything. Map. Click on talent to spend points. Overload damages enemy shields within certain radius. Okay. Uh, long burst of accurate fire. Shield boost. Okay. Uh, let's get that over up. <clears throat> Shield boost is now active, and we're gonna go to intimidate. Ooh, I just found out how to throw a grenade. like they hit the camp hard it's a good place for an ambush keep your guard up <laughs> oh god they're still alive what did the geth do to them press r to throw a grenade wait for time detonation or press r again to automatically detonate throw a grenade at the husk's feet now Approach a squad member and press E to hear brief comments about the current situation. We thought this world was safe. Geth showed up. Mutant Prime will never be the same again. Shotgun. <clears throat> armor, armor. Omni gels. Ooh. Nobody really needs heals. That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. Use movement WS A D to advance. Okay. Oh my god, what is this? 
Oh God. Oh Lord. I was so bad at this. You can also override difficult locks by spending Omni Gem. Generally, can acquire from defeated opponents. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Lovely. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken the beast. <laughs> this guy is Unleashed so paranoid. the darkness. God, you're unhinged, Manuel, bro. please. This isn't the time. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Bro, what Hush, are you doing? Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. I mean, you are already clearly crazy. Uh, click the filter tab to switch between types. Select the item. Click Omni Joe button to permanently convert the selected to Omni Joe. Click, Click on an equipment items upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Okay. to 15% damage to synthetics, 25% to shield bypass, and 20% to weapon force. These are facet grounds. Uh, Ashley.
so I cannot wear that. Heavy armor yet, light armor though. Uh, decrease shield and damage, but raise for tech biotic protection. Scorpion one, lowers damage protection, raises shields by 21 and tech bio protection. Four. Ashley. Oh, she can't wear it either. She's got Phoenix raise damage protection, keep the shields. I'll just raise the damage protection. And he'll keep the same thing on. First, uh, oh, it's the death music. Sarah. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. What is that? Off in the distance. Cadence throw, cadence overload, cadence sabotage. Why can't I assign that? ECM is hot.
Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. It was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the shed. For the game. Or for the CPU. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, mm -hmm. I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait, I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Okay, forget about it. I've got more important things to worry about. Good luck. Stinger pistol and a combat sensor. Are they all the same? Yo. Assault rifle, sniper, heavy armor. God, am I stuck? Can I control somebody else, please? That was kind of scary. I'm on my way.
<laughs> oh my god, the AI got stuck behind the NPC. Uh, it burns. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But, but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He Biggest thing is definitely going to be remapped with some buttons to this mouse. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon definitely was trouble. Definitely going to put some. Uh, Everything's gone to hell since we found it. The numbers. First, that damn mothership showed up in the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I. I I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Jeez, what a puss. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too Let's late. Get the hell out of here, man. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Where did we just get shot from?
<clears throat> that was ugly. Man, that was totally different than what I was expecting. It's a little clunky. Like, you have to basically use the whole keyboard, so... Um, it's just gonna take a lot of remapping certain keys to where they're actually functional. Like, you can't be going from Set the charges. I and the M and the Leave no evidence that we were here. And the arrow buttons. So. Oh, they go. That takes some rethinking. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. That's two down. I have three minutes. That's three. How many more do we have? Two, one. Gel, that's for sure. Oh, Caden's up.
Easy decryption. Sure. Okay. It wasn't so bad. and a hammer and assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Let's make sure there's nothing left to loot before we go ahead and acknowledge the fact that the beacon is right here. Ooh, there we go. Grenade, high explosive, armor, motorized joints, one. Do that. <laughs> Let's get it. Give me the visions. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. You bitch. You dumb bitch. I can only match on this is gonna be like remastered. <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. That's right. Doctor! Doctor Chakwas! I think he's waking up! Yes. Yes, I am. Thank you for yelling. I have a huge headache. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, doctor? Physically, you're fine. 
but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, I feel bad about that guy. I don't, to be honest, I kind of forgot about him. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. <laughs> you said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want to... Alright, we're going to be ending it right after this. It's going to save. We got past the intro stage. Figured out mainly how it works. I didn't do anything wrong, and, Captain. Uh, we'll Hopefully be, the Council can see that. Be playing again tomorrow. I'll stand behind Hopefully you we can and jump reports. on early. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hmm. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know Not why. a reason. I only know it had some reason to, to hate us is if we were inferior. You were there just before that beacon self destructed. I think Did you see anything? Think? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Oh, I think my keyboard just disconnected. Okay, that was weird. Oh, it came out of nowhere. Uh, vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Shitty fucking USB-C. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Why did they, why did they just do that? Uh... What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. No, we're just powerful. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Hmm. 
<laughs> we prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Hey. Uh, I tell him to bring us into dock and then I'm done. No, no, we're gonna call right here. Save. You save. Oh, it doesn't give like a name or anything like that. All right, that's that. Ooh, what am I gonna pull up? All right. Uh, so we got finished. I mean, we played for an hour and 15 minutes. We're going to do more uh, longer stints in the future, but uh, for the meantime today, we were just uh, exploring the effects how it runs on the PC, uh, controls, just get just getting used to it. It was a trial run. Um, it's definitely different than console, especially considering that's what I learned on, so that was always uh, more comfortable and whatnot. But uh, it shouldn't be hard getting used to this. Uh, just uh, remapping a bunch of stuff, you know, because, I mean, it is an RPG. Luckily, I got a mouse that can do that. I just got to uh, pull up the right, uh, pull up everything that is going to need to be used the most, like uh, inventory, all that stuff, when you upgrade weapons and whatnot. Um, tomorrow is Monday? Was today Monday? No, it's Sunday. So tomorrow we'll put in, uh, we need to get a solid two hours in. We need to explore a few planets, uh, really knock a chunk off of the, uh, the Citadel and the main storyline. Um, and if we can get two sessions in tomorrow, I think we're going to start Bioshock. We're going to do like a retro style um, play. Uh, hopefully there won't be any hardware problems. We're going to make sure that like the, everything is going well. Uh, but that's it. Um, we got, like I said, uh, I'm trying to upgrade things so that they're better for stream. That's why I got this widescreen camera. Um, a little bit better uh, experience than this, which is just the in-game camera. That gets like shot down to the corner of like the thing. And it looks totally fine, but this actually gets me some 1080p, you know, video. Uh, it's only 30 FPS, but it's right here. I'm just talking to you. We don't need much more. Um, but maybe we'll throw into just chatting tomorrow rather than uh, Mass Effect. See if we can just get some viewers. Um, mainly doing this just as a retro have fun thing, but also because... Um, because Mass Effect is getting remastered, and maybe at the beginning of each uh, uh, playthrough, um, I do episode, if we want to call it, I will. I'll talk about more more about that. I mean, for the baseline, it's getting remastered. It's pretty much confirmed. We just have to do more digging and figure out when. And uh, yeah, I mean that's exciting for me. So I would say by the time I'm done with this game. Uh, Mass Effect 1 uh, the remasters will be out um, I will get those and I will probably immediately start Mass Effect 2 um, you know remaster uh, so that will look extra good because that was really where I mean Mass Effect 1 great game especially for the times awesome um, but Mass Effect 2 really shined in um doing the upgrades right they figured out how to make the combat system not as much a dialogue that stayed roughly the same but combat system was 
you know, tweaked and all the little things. It was tuned up. It was a lot better. Three was uh, visual. Uh, it got into the big jumps in visual um, fidelity. Maybe that's not the right word, but who knows? Uh, we're going to hop off here. I'm going to uh, upload this to YouTube under the um, first episode for that. We'll start a whole bunch of new games, try to finish some other ones. Uh, it's been quite a while since I played Tomb Raider, uh, but that's mainly because I was on vacation and I'm getting ready to move. So uh, I have a lot going on right now, um, and it's not a small move. It is a big, big move. I am moving a third of the way across the country. Well, I shouldn't say across. I should say down. But... Anyway, um, I'm Utopian X, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.